notebook lm by google has truly blown my mind uh, i totally mean it when i say that it's it blew my mind i heard about this from some of my colleagues who said you can use notebook lm to convert some of the documents you have into podcasts and then i was wondering what's the big deal about this like isn't it similar to just simply text to speech but this is not simple like it's it's very very impressive actually the kind of podcast that notebook lm generates is it's truly engaging it actually is offering some insight that we otherwise uh might miss and it's actually making the life easy so i really want all of you to try this when i first tried notebook lm what i did was i uploaded some random document from my uh, download so i had the the resume which i used for applying which i had recently downloaded for sharing it with a student so that resume i uploaded to notebook lm and then i clicked um to convert that into a podcast and it got converted into a podcast and i was very much amused by it because resume is a exceptionally boring document and i could not imagine what kind of podcast can an ai come up with um uh, uh, just just by having the resume document so i just want to show you the exact same thing today i'll upload my resume and i will just show you what kind of podcast that this this tool is about able to come up with i am really impressed by this this is probably the next best thing that i have seen after chat gpt so here uh let's go here create a new notebook and upload so i'll just upload the pdf file of the resume which i had in my uh downloads and it's uploading and then here you see this generate so it creates podcast between two people um a male and a female and i just want you to see the kind of conversation this ai is able to generate and the 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 level of you know it's it's very close to how two humans might conduct a podcast so i i have clicked to generate i don't know how many minutes it take because the previously when i created it took a few minutes i did not exactly keep uh, take note of that but i don't think it's too long uh, but i just want to show you the resume ones um so it has education section uh contact information some conference publication so this is the one that i had used while applying for a uh, graduate school it has bunch of things uh, internship final year project um courses industrial internship and and uh, yeah re- relevant course work workshop labs co curricular activities etc so i just wanted to uh um, show you the podcast i want you to listen to the podcast for at least a few minutes not the entire thing but just for a few minutes to see what kind of amazing thing this notebook lm is able to come up with and if you have any interesting use case uh, one thing which i can think of is if you have a difficult research paper you can upload it to notebook lm and ask it to convert into a podcast and simply you can listen to it it's a 15 minute podcast and simply you can listen to it so i'll pause the video and i'll come back once this generation is finished and i'll let you know how many minutes it took me the podcast got generated in around 2 uh, to 3 minutes it took sl- it took less than 3 minutes for sure and it's roughly 14 uh, minutes i am not going to play the entire podcast in this video i'll play some parts but let me open my resume on the side because i i'm doing this i'm listening to this fully properly for the first time and i just want to um uh, i'm surprised like i just want to be surprised to know what all things this will come up with uh, based on a boring document like a resume uh okay so i have uh, kept the resume open on the side i hope you will hear the audio right so today we've got um sridith panat's resume and wow just wow yeah this is going to be quite a deep dive yeah this is someone who's not just excelled but really consistently top the charts. Mm-hmm. First rank out of 83 students in his dual degree program. Oh wow. At the Indian Institute of Technology Madras. Okay. A perfect 10 GPA and even a 100% score in multiple subjects. I mean Wow. I'm already intrigued, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. What grabs me right away is not just the achievements but it's the story, right? It's not just like sudden bursts of brilliance. It's a pattern. It goes all the way back to secondary school. It's consistent excellence. It really is. And speaking of those early achievements, consistently ranked first, not just in college, but through his entire education, yeah. right from Chennai to Vijayalaya. Right. I mean, that level of dedication, that young, is really something. It's huge. Yeah. From- 
you can hear that the voice modulation is actually perfect i'll just play once again and uh, mute so the male or male and female audio transition is perfect uh, it's not monotonous the way it's reading or the way it's saying something uh, just just listen to this once again for those who might not be familiar with the Indian education system, think of IIT Madras, like the MIT of India. Oh, yeah. Incredibly competitive. So consistently ranking first there. I mean, you got to have it all. Intellect, discipline, work ethic. Yeah. It's like he's not just meeting the bar, he's setting a new one. And this drive to push boundaries, we see it again in his international internship at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Kit, Kit, yep. Kit L, Germany. Now, the research topic here, super fascinating, but a bit complex. Thermal mechanics of lithium orthosilicate granular bed. Um, can you help break this down for us a little? So imagine like trying to build this super efficient, really safe nuclear reactor. Sure. One way to do that is using these tiny like ceramic pebbles. They contain lithium orthosilicate. Now this material, it's key for generating tritium, which is essential in nuclear fusion. Sridhar's research, it focused on understanding how, you know, temperature and stress affect these pebbles. So that's essential knowledge for designing these, like, futuristic reactors. Oh, it's not just an internship. It's contributing to, like, cutting-edge research with global implications. <laughs> I think what they're saying is pretty much perfect. Like, uh, they, are, they also have information that um, I have not provided in my resume, right? Because the LLM has been tra um, trained over data on the internet also. So it's amazing. It's actually mind blowing. I, I really like the way they are stressing on certain things. If somebody has is having a bad day, you just need to upload your resume and listen to it. This guy, these guys will speak about you in the nicest possible ways, and you will feel so good about yourself. Uh, I'll just play this for a few more minutes uh, so both of us can listen together. And speaking of contributions, let's move on to his publications specifically the one submitted to the ASME Journal of Tribology. Right. Now, that's the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, folks. A big deal in the engineering world. Huge. Yeah. Submitting your work to a peer-reviewed journal like ASME, it's a major step. Mm -hmm. It means that your research has been really looked at by experts in the field, you know? Make sure it's high quality, original. You gotta be good. Yeah. And the research itself is really interesting. He worked on 2D inspection of textured surfaces, developing a custom ring lighting setup for something called dark field illumination in a stereo microscope. He even created an algorithm to identify shapes like circles, ellipses, triangles, and squares. Mm -hmm. So what's the real world application of all this? So picture this. You're manufacturing, let's say, a critical component for an airplane. Okay, but his participation in GN where he took that course on precision grinding, that's also worth noting. What Sridhar's done, it shows what can happen when you're dedicated, thirsty for knowledge, and ready to push yourself. So as we wrap up, what's the one thing you hope our listeners will take from this deep dive? What's the core of Sridhar's journey that we can all use? Hmm, I'd say. Be inspired by him, yeah, but don't try to copy him exactly. Find your own thing, the challenges that get you excited. Make your own path to success. The world needs all sorts of talents, perspectives, so embrace what makes you you. Go after your goals with that same drive we see in Sarita. Kind of said it better myself. And on that note, we're wrapping up our deep dive into the incredible world of Sarita Panat. So they have a really cool intro. They have a nice conclusion. Now imagine instead of this document, you were uploading like a... Uh, a research paper like Attention is All You Need. I really struggled to understand that paper the first time I read. You could convert that paper into a very nice podcast or anything actually, any anything that you want to even study, like you have a textbook, PDF of your textbook if you are a student. You upload here and then just listen, it to, listen to it as a podcast. It's much more engaging. So when I first heard about Notebook LM, I really did not understand what's the big deal about having something as a podcast versus let's say an AI directly read me this text uh, using you know, a text-to-speech converter. But I think podcast format is making a huge difference. It's much more engaging and uh, the voice modulation is making it sound like an actual human. And it's very creative the way it's, it's make, uh, coming up with, with uh, choice of words, phrases, etc. So I'm actually mind blown by Notebook LM. Uh, I'm actually going to use it in my day-to-day -day life to make learning a few things much easier. If you have any other interesting use cases for Notebook LM, please feel free to mentioned that uh, I yeah I think many other AI products that I have I have seen in the last two years they have been only like uh, 
incrementally surprising to me but this has actually surprised me uh, of course chat gpt was very surprising uh, something like that did not exist and it's amazing what people could build on top of what is already existing so uh, this this is really really beautiful product so uh, thank you so much for listening please try this out and let us let me know if you come across some interesting use cases